Hey, what's up guys? Um, today I'm gonna be taking my A4000 on my little video editing rig and we're gonna put on this PNY 3060 cooler that I got from China, um, see how well it cools. I was gonna switch out all the uh, thermal pads with some better thermal pads that I have kicking around, but uh, I decided just to use these and see how well they do for now. Um, that way it's the same as every, anybody else who orders one of these. Uh, the only thing I will do is I'm going to switch out the thermal paste that it comes with and put Arctic Silver in it. And uh, yeah, so we'll switch out uh, this original factory housing for the new cooler. And uh, we're running at 50 degrees right now with 70% fan. Uh, it's 22 degrees in here, so I'll try and make sure it's still 22 once we get the new cooler on and see how much better it does. So we're on Casper right now. I'm gonna just leave it all alone. Uh, I've been watching these temperatures, so I, I know the max it's ever got is 52 on a really hot day when it's about 26 in here. But for reference, it's 22 degrees right now, and it's running at 50 at 70%. So we'll switch this cooler out. I'll do a little time lapse, and uh, we'll see where we're at. All right, guys, I'm going to take this thing. I'm going to clean off all the uh, thermal thermal paste and all the thermal pads that are stuck on here. And uh, then we'll reapply some Arctic Silver on here. I'm going to clean off what came on here, factory, just the, uh, just the thermal paste and put some good stuff on. And I'll leave these and see how they work for now because I notice they are different thicknesses as well. Um, so just leave them on and see how this performs uh, stock. All right, so I got everything cleaned up pretty good here now. And uh, I just wanted to show, I was about to clean this stock uh, or the factory thermal paste that comes on it. And it's like, it, it's not even like, it feels like it's dried out and hard. It doesn't even come onto your finger. So I'm gonna wipe this off and put some, uh, use some of my Arctic Silver.
Alright guys, so I quickly pulled the card apart just because I wasn't sure if the thermal paste, what type of gap was in here to this cooler. So I just, with that little pea size um, dot, that's about how much it covered. Um, so I'm going to reapply my paste now that I know there's a pretty decent coverage. I'll add a little bit extra and uh, then I know I'm good. So just in case you guys are wondering, it does seem to contact pretty decent. Uh, I used about a tiny little drop. I probably needed a little bit bigger drop to cover that whole dye. So gonna add a little bit and uh, put it back together. Just wanted to make sure though that it had good contact and it looks all right. All right, we got it all put together. Uh, I did notice on the instructions on one of the YouTube videos that they give for how to put these together, uh, they cut out this area because the one of those cables is pretty close there. Um, but it's actually not crushing it or anything. It, it does fit without cutting it. So I just left it because just slightly pushing on it. You can see there, you probably can't see on camera, but there is a, a gap that opens up so it's not like cutting into the wire or anything so i didn't cut cut these fins out i just left them uh, so we'll see how this works i'll go plug it in and we'll see what our temperatures are like and make sure it's the same temperature that was before all right guys we're all powered up we've been mining caspa for about 15 16 minutes uh and we're up to full operating temperature so we got the same temperatures in this room and we're only at 44 degrees now with the same fan settings uh, so now I can probably turn those down to about 60 or 55 uh, and keep it a little quieter in here. This is my bedroom, so I do sleep beside this thing. So I can turn it down now and it'll be a little quieter. But it's definitely worth the upgrade. I left uh, I left the thermal pads that just came with it on and just added my uh, Arctic Silver uh, thermal compound that I usually use. And our temperatures dropped from about 49.50 down to 44. It was fluctuating between 43 and 44 for a while, but I left it until now and it's kind of leveled out at 44. So, oh, there we go. Called me a liar. But uh, anyways, I'd say it's worth getting this uh, cooler and switching your A4000 out if you do mine with it. It's definitely way cooler. It moves a lot more air. I feel a lot more air coming out the shroud and pushing kind of out this side. With the A4000 with the factory fan, I did have this one actually pulling. So this is uh, pulling all the hot air out this way. Uh, I don't even need it anymore. It's not really, it doesn't even feel hot anymore where it's quite hot before. But yeah, that's uh, just a quick little um, test on this cooler. I think they work pretty good. I think they're worth grabbing for, I got this one for $50 Canadian. So it wasn't too expensive, but yeah. Figured I'd just show you guys the difference and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.